In this quick tutorial, I'll walk through how ChatGPT can help you as a freelance web designer and developer. We'll cover a quick intro on what ChatGPT is, using ChatGPT to write SEO, code, ads, website content, blog articles, proposals, cold emails, social media posts, strategy plan, and client communication. I'm not going to talk fluff in this video, so let's get straight to it. If you are new to ChatGPT, it's basically an advanced AR writer. Here's how ChatGPT describes itself. Okay, so it says ChatGPT is a large language generation model developed by OpenAI. Basically, it pretty much does everything content and AR related. It's pretty insane. It's free to use for now. So to sign up, go to openai.com and just follow the usual sign up prompts. When you have your account ready, you can start engaging with it. Now let's get straight into using ChatGPT. We'll start with SEO. Let's say I have a client selling classic cars. I don't need to use any SEO tools. All I need is ChatGPT. So let's see what SEO we can get from it. Write me an SEO title for a car dealership selling classic cars in Manhattan in less than 70 characters. ChatGPT produces something awesome. Classic cars for sale in Manhattan, your dream ride awaits. Beautiful, great start. Let's see what else we can get from it. The next question I have for ChatGPT is now write me an SEO meta description in less than 150 characters. The output is explore our wide selection of classic cars in Manhattan, find your dream ride at our dealership, competitive pricing, financing available. Perfect. Now let's take this a step further and look for keywords. Now give me five short tail and 10 long tail keywords to rank for. Let's see what we get. Okay, short tail keywords, classic cars, car dealership. Yeah, this is superb. I like the location focus. Long tail uh, keywords, Manhattan, classic car, showroom, buying classic cars. <laughs> and you saw how fast that was. That was less than a minute, a few seconds in fact. Finally, wrapping up SEO, let's look for H tags. Now give me three H1 tag headings I can use for the home page. And I'm not gonna read through all of this, but it is superb. Great SEO, we're off to a good start. Now let's move on to ChatGPT writing code for us. So let's suppose I want a testimonial section on my website highlighting three testimonials. The input is write me the HTML and CSS for three testimonials in three cards and include a picture for each person. Okay, now we've got our output, HTML, CSS. Here's the HTML code. All we do is we copy it. And here is the CSS as well. And the crazy part about this is this is just the beginning of code. We can even ask ChatGPT to write a landing page for us. Let me show you a quick example. Code me a landing page for an injury lawyer with a navbar, logo, and footer. And we'll notice that initially ChatGPT actually apologizes. <laughs> it says, I'm sorry I'm not able to code a landing page for you as I'm a text-based model. However, you can give me he or it or she can give me the example of what a landing page could look like with the HTML and CSS. This is pretty crazy, right? I wanna show you the example, but what is mind blowing is we are only on step two of the 10 things that I actually wanna show you that we can do with chat GPT. So the output is we've got our HTML code, the title, you know, navbar section, even some text, which is pretty insane, services, footer section, contact, and even the CSS. Now, if coding is not your thing and you prefer no code, my top recommendation is Editor X. I use that all the time. It's my favorite no coding platform for website design. Now let's move on to ChatGPT writing advertisements. If you have a client who wants Facebook ads, Instagram ads, LinkedIn ads, you don't have to write it yourself. You can use ChatGPT to do it for you. Let's go through a quick example. Write me an ad for a Facebook post for an accounting business with the benefit of saving tax. <laughs> Let's look at the output. Are you tired of overpaying on your taxes? Let our experienced accounting professionals at X Business help save you money and so on and so on. Contact us today. Super. We can even make a more creative and funny ad just like this example. Write me a LinkedIn ad for a dentist to book an appointment for teeth whitening and make it 
funny. Let's take a look at what we get here. Are your teeth looking a little lackluster? Want to give them a Hollywood smile makeover? Look no further. <laughs> Book an appointment with us, professional. We'll have you smiling so bright you'll need sunglasses just to look in the mirror. <laughs> uh, okay, that's a good one. Uh, uh, we'll make sure to provide you the necessary safety goggles before the procedure. <laughs> okay, that's classic. Um, wow, so you can tell it is clearly creative and extremely funny. Now let's move on to ChatGPT writing website content. So let's say my client is a dentist. I'm not going to write the hero title, the tagline, the paragraphs and the call to action. I'm going to let ChatGPT do it for me. So let's do that right now. Write me a hero title for a dentist in Cape Town. As we can see, we get the Cavity Crusader of Cape Town. Pretty interesting and unique. Let's go with it. Write me a short tagline for a dentist in Cape Town. Creating beautiful smiles in the heart of Cape Town. We can go with that. Now write me a short paragraph. At our dental practice in Cape Town, we believe healthy smile, blah, blah, blah. And as you can tell, the grammar is incredible. It, it ha pretty much has everything that you need. Uh, really superb. Just with the prompt of saying, write me a short paragraph. Finally, let's get a call to action. Now write me a call to action in less than five words. Simple, book your appointment now. Let's try another one. Give me another one. <laughs> Great. Smile with confidence, book now. I actually prefer this one. All that to say, goodbye to Lorem Ipsum text and say hello to chat GPT. Now let's move on to blog articles. I'm a big fan of writing blog articles for clients because it shows authority and credibility in an area and it also helps with SEO. But there's no ways I'm writing it and I'm also not going to outsource it either. So let's use ChatGPT to write the article for us. Write me a blog article for a furniture store in London selling leather couches and explain the types of leather with a call to action to buy furniture at ABC Leather Couches. Let's see what we get. Okay, I'm not going to read the output, but I must say I'm really impressed. It basically provided a great blog article, almost around 500 words that I can use and expand on and improve on from here. So blog article content sorted. Now let's use ChatGPT to write a client proposal. Write me a short proposal for a client lead offering website design services for $5,000. Let's see what we get. Okay, we've got our output and I must say I'm really impressed. I wasn't expecting this type of output considering the input was literally just this. So I'm not going to read through everything, um, but I must say the detail is incredible. You know, how it broke it down, you know, even Google Analytics, total cost, confident in the team, how it ended it off. Really, really good. I'm really impressed. So now obviously the next step would be just to update this according to your needs and the client needs. Also as a side note, if you're looking to create proposals, send them to clients in a URL, get them digitally signed, use my SaaS clientmanager.io. You can send unlimited proposals, unlimited clients and a whole lot more. Now let's use ChatGPT for cold emails. Write me a cold email to a qualified lead pitching web design and marketing services with a call to action to schedule a call with me. Let's see what we get. Hmm. Okay, so the output as usual is really impressive. It even included a subject line. Um, I like how it starts. I'm not going to read it all as you know, um, but in terms of all the information, it is really, really good. Even the PS at the end, if you are unable to schedule a call, please let me know. Uh, really impressive. Obviously, I would tailor this and I would suggest that you do too. You know, make it a bit shorter, maybe add a loom link, something a bit more valuable so that it's not as generic. But I must say, as a starting point, this is way better than a lot of the cold emails that I've seen. So use this if you don't have anything better. And now let's move on to social media posts. Whether it's for your own personal brand, agency or clients, social media content requires text. And that might include Facebook posts, Twitter posts, Instagram posts, LinkedIn posts, and a whole lot more. And as you guessed, we'll use ChatGPT to write this for us. From a freelancer's perspective, write me a tweet 
sharing a website tip that will be helpful for business owners. Let's see what ChatGPT gives us. Business owners, optimize your website for mobile devices to improve your... Okay, obviously we can tailor this, but it's a good starting point. Now let's pretend I was looking for something for a client. Write me a LinkedIn post for a lawyer explaining how GDPR works in less than 300 characters. Output, want to know how GDPR affects your business. As a lawyer, I can help you understand and comply with the regulations. Contact me for more information. Pretty good considering the 300 character limit. As a side note, I use FeedHive for my social media management and automation, and I really recommend it if you are not using it already, both for your own personal brand and agency, as well as for your clients. Now let's look at strategy planning. You might think that ChatGPT is limited to these types of outputs that I've shown you. However, you'd be wrong. ChatGPT is also an amazing tool to strategize with and get ideas. It's actually pretty insane what it can do. Let's say I wanted to grow my freelance web design agency this year. My input is I want to grow my freelance web design agency this year. Give me 10 ideas I could do to get clients that will cost me less than $1,000. Now for comparison, I want you to think of these results and compare it with what you might get on Google, excluding all the ads and distractions and all the websites you probably have to go to to get to this information. And I must say, it's just loaded and as usual, it's impressive. Briefly, network, portfolio websites, social media platforms, discounter rates, I'm not a fan of that one, uh, 10 local, blog yeah it's it's really solid uh, i must say 10 ideas to strategize with and as you've seen you can always ask follow-up questions if you want to strategize and brainstorm even further and take this levels deeper for my final example let's use ChatGPT for client communication when dealing with clients we are also dealing with deadlines but let's say we missed a deadline for whatever reason what do we say to our client? Let's see what ChatGPT suggests. I'm building a website for a client, but I missed the deadline. Write me an email to apologize and let him know the website will be ready in three working days. Very good subject. I want to apologize. Not going to read through everything. You get the idea now. Another example is what happens if a client is late on payment? My client is late on payment and I need them to pay as soon as possible. Write me a professional email asking for payment, but also explaining that it's urgent. <laughs> really excellent. I love the tone of voice here. Extremely professional. And I like how it also ends it off. Superb. Okay, that's it in this video. There's so much more to ChatGPT and AI in general and how it can help you revolutionize and grow your business this year and beyond. I really hope you found this short tutorial video helpful, but let me know in the comments below how you are using ChatGPT to grow your business. Just wrapping up, if you are looking to start or scale your freelancing business in your web design or developer, join my freelancing community in the link below. It is free and it is awesome. Alright, cheers guys.